Okay, so this week I wanna show you the app that I think is gonna change farming for a lot of people. It's called Heirloom. It's totally incredible for crop planting. I think it's gonna help small scale farmers, but also even maybe gardeners that have an increased interest in improving their gardening. Flower gardeners, uh, market gardeners, anybody that is farming vegetables or flowers for profit should check out this app, Heirloom. It's incredible. I'm used to working with pen and paper. I love printing off spreadsheets. I love creating my own spreadsheets for my seed order, for our nursery planting schedule, for our direct seeding schedule, for our crop maps. I do it all by paper and then put it all back into the computer. But this is doing it all for me. So it's wild. It's incredible. It's so intuitive. You can tell whoever built it was a farmer. Lots of farmers built this and they are smart farmers and they have not missed a single detail. And I'm absolutely infatuated with it and it's, gonna be $330 a year, and I can tell you I'm gonna pay that every single year, forever. I love it. If this is first time checking out the channel, my name is Luke Sheldrick, I own Terramore Farm with my wife Dana. It's a profitable small scale vegetable and flower farm outside of Ottawa. I'm making weekly posts that are just kind of like vlog style to show what it's like to operate and run a profitable farm. Last year we sold over $225,000 this year we're trying to hit $300,000 on our sales. We'll see how it goes and we want you to be along for the journey. We're making tons of changes to try to be more efficient, grow more profitably, and we wanna show you how it works to try to <laughs> make a living on an organic farm. It's not easy, it's hard work, the, the profit margin is low. So when I say that big gross number, it's not a massive amount, our labor's high, we put a lot of time in and the costs are high but we're doing it, we're making a living, and we wanna show you how we do it. So if this is something that might interest you, please like and subscribe, share, and check out this video. I'm gonna show you Heirloom this week, but then I'm also gonna go over some of the other stuff that we do on the week to week. It's been a busy one. I didn't get to get outside. I didn't get to do much planting. It's already Friday, and I'm just kind of been working through a lot of different administration stuff, and I'm gonna tell you about it as we go through here. So it's February 28th. Uh, this is very, very warm for this time of year, and what's different is like it's not looking like it's gonna let up so all this snow is gonna be gone very soon and that makes me think that maybe I should push up my spring planting by a week and we could get in earlier so I'm gonna take the risk and do it and with the warm nights it's nice because it doesn't cost as much to fire that thing up that greenhouse up a little bit early so kind of neat kind of a little scary chickens are happy that's limpy he's still good So this is almost certainly the Lysianthus that we're looking for. Oh, 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 Johnny's. Thank you. What up? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A new hat for me and mommy. Mommy got a hat too. Oh yeah. So I just want to talk about adding flowers to our market garden. And again, I feel like I could speak to a whole series on this, but the way we've done it is we started with the intention of having cut flowers and really not knowing what we were doing, but we sold a few bouquets at market. Uh, we had four rows of, it was like the Johnny seeds, like just like the pre-made selection of flowers they recommend. And we sold some bouquets and we're like, wow, this is pretty good. There is all kinds of ways to grow flowers and also to sell them. And when you are when you get better at it, it becomes easier because you have these beautiful things that people want and you can sell them to florists, to local grocery stores or retail locations. Farmer's market's amazing. And we even have them on our fresh list to restaurants. Like we sell DIY buckets. And then now we're also getting into weddings. So DIY and a la carte weddings. We're not doing like full service weddings. That's just too much for us. Uh, but we are, we've seen success with this sort of a la carte DIY model and that's in the Floray course as well. Uh, incredible. So I can't recommend enough to do the education. The Floray course has been incredible. We're also really looking forward to the Market Gardener Masterclass is releasing a flower course and we will be definitely getting that because we are, believe in investing in education and it's served us really well. People have done it before you, so why would you struggle through the process when there's answers that they've already determined through making the mistakes that now you don't have to? So we love that. 
Uh, it takes out a lot of the stress and the guesswork and helps to just kind of leapfrog your business ahead and also provide you with confidence, which feels really nice. Like doubt, self-doubt is one of the hardest parts of learning to farm, I feel. There's a lot of hard parts to learning to farm, but self-doubt is definitely one of the major ones and education is incredible for that. To air a quick little review of it and just explain how it works, why you should check it out. So when you first log in, you've got all your vegetables. It's very pretty and also super user friendly. So you just go through and add all the vegetables that you grow because you don't want anything that you're not growing being thrown into your game plan because it's already a lot of stuff you have to look at. Then you can go to fruits, flowers, herbs. So we grow a lot of flowers, so here they are. They haven't got all their images in there yet, but I'm sure they're gonna do that and I'm sure it's gonna look stunning just like the vegetables. Herbs took me a minute to find. I forgot that they'd be separate, but yeah, there you go. Don't forget to just change that if you go for this. Also, this is a, I think they have a free month or like a beta on, so try it out. So first you select all your crops. Then you go to your game plan and here it is. So you've got all your different crops that you've selected and they have a plus sign. So you put in all your plantings and you can say, you don't have to put individual each one. You can say how often and how many weeks apart they're going to be. So here, let's just quickly run you through creating a planting, syrinth. So it also has all the information, days to maturity, days in the nursery. So as soon as you create the day that you wanna plant it in the field, it creates all the tasks for your nursery planting and you're transplanting later on because it has the days in the nursery and it generates um, how many seeds you're gonna need for it as well and we'll show that later. So your whole thing gets generated for you and this is what it ends up looking like and you can even, if you want, slide these around if you don't like where they are and it's absolutely so incredible and user friendly. Next, you're gonna go to your crop plan, crop map, so everything that you just did in your game plan is gonna end up in here in your unassigned plantings. So then, so far we have 48 of 148 plantings unassigned. So I still have to find space in my map to generate these plantings. So see, each one is over, each one is, so these are our plots. Every map is gonna be different. You create it for your own plots. We have 21 plots for vegetables, four plots, for flowers and two greenhouses that we have to fill. But these are over space and time. So you can see that carrot bed, we'll zoom in on it, is in plot five. So when we pull out our eight beds of garlic, that's where our fall carrots are gonna go on July 29th and our fall beets on July 31st. So we're gonna flip those garlic beds and then eight beds and that's your, your date here. So here we go. So if we look at plot six, this is our Salanova planting. Then we're gonna get a quick little spring planting of radish, salano or sorry, um, salad turnips, followed by carrots. So we'll have space here for an August planting, but we will not have space here for anything in the fall. And that's how it goes. So you get your field map. So we're gonna still work away at filling this in. And then it also informs your seeds. So what's really nice is that it has the weight and the number of seeds, and this is everything you have to plant because it takes all of that information about your plantings and the number of plantings and it automatically calculates it here. So it's absolutely incredible. Like if you've, if you've ever done it the way we, we used to do it where you sort of create what you wanna plant, how often you wanna plant it, then you have to create your crop map to fill it in, then you use your crop map and that to generate your nursery planting schedule, your direct seeding schedule, and then you take all of that information and you have to create your seed order because you need to calculate how many seeds per bed, how many beds, etc. And all that is all a lot of work. This skips a lot of steps, it does all the work, but they've done a lot of that work on the back end where they're calculating it for you and it just is so intuitive and incredibly user friendly and you can tell that it's built by farmers and I'm so thankful for it, I'm absolutely in love. So look, here's your inventory, so you can say it's in the inventory or it's ordered or it's to be ordered. So I haven't updated this yet, but we did our seed order, so I can just roll through here and fix that up. <clears throat> Next up, is tasks so you can get your task list what's incredible about this is this is every single task on the farm but for me for example like i said i like to have a nursery planting schedule so this is it here all the nursery planting dates with what's being planted 
and this isn't really the format that I like, but I can export it to CSV. And then what I'm gonna do is update it to be the format that I like, where I have like a little section of the day it was supposed to be planted, what day was it actually planted. So we have some record keep keeping included in our nursery planting schedule. Um, and then what day it was supposed to be yeah. direct seeding. Same thing. All here. And yeah, I'll export it. So we're gonna have a direct seeding schedule. It's gonna generate all that. And then what's amazing too, is that typically I have those binders and I put them outside and I give them to whoever's in charge of direct seeding, whoever's in charge of nursery planting. And then if I wanna check them, I gotta go out or I check my computer or whatever. It's all not in the same place. But what's amazing now is I have a week board that corresponds with that task list that's generated the same way I just mentioned, but it's got my weekly to-do list. So then when I'm sitting in here doing my administration, planning my week, I can double check this and I know that that matches whatever work is in their binders out there that I've printed. So I can't say enough about how amazing this is. Um, I'm in love. I highly suggest it. And it's $330 and like I said, I'm, I'm in for life. I've only used it for a week and it's wild. I hope this was explanatory enough. If anyone has any questions, I'm willing to go more into detail on another video, but I just really wanted to touch on this quickly about how amazing it is. And I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it helpful. And I think this is gonna be amazing. And also, I hope you liked this week's video. There's gonna be tons of videos. I'm gonna cover all kinds of cool stuff, but I do hope that you ask questions because I'd love to share information about as much as I can about what we do, how we do it, and yeah, like and subscribe. Thank you.